Hello everyone, Distron here. Um, this is a video response to Games and Me and their uh, question of the week about uh, prized possessions in your game collection. So we were supposed to just choose a couple of things that we would really miss if they got lost or destroyed or something. So this is my sort of entry thing. So here we have some items from back when PC games came in huge boxes. The first one is Realms of the Haunting. Realms of the Haunting is really special to me, not just because it's a great game, but it's also the very first game I ever bought with my own money. I remember the first time I installed this game and it just completely blew me away. I'd never seen or played anything like it before. The graphics were really awesome for 1996. The story where it was all told through these really good full motion video clips. And I have to say, Realms of the Haunting did kind of set me up for a fall because it was the first time I'd ever seen like video in, in a video game. And um, so I, like when I went looking for other games that had full motion video in it as well. I expected them to be as good as Realms of the Haunting. But, as we all know, most of them are very bad. But this is still one of my favorite games, and it's still one that I do semi-regular playthroughs of um, once every one or two years. So next up we have the second Ultima Collection, which is probably one of the first things my parents ever bought me gaming wise anyway as you can see I've got all my original diskettes um, I've actually backed these all up on CD and DVD now um, but I still have the original diskettes and they all still work I even still have all like the manuals and the little advertising material that came with it and it's really nostalgic you know just going back and looking through that stuff. Um, I think my favorites are definitely 6 and 7. Um, I wasn't such a huge fan of 8. I mean, it was a good game, but 6 and 7 were definitely the high points for me personally. I seem to have lost the box for 7 somewhere along the way, but I've still got it and the manual, so that's okay. And speaking of manuals, this is a manual. It's got whole sections on like the history of the world and geography and the various trades that are around, like how magic is cast and how it works and the whole system of virtues and everything going on. It's all black and white, but the text is um, fairly large. The pictures are really nice and it does go into a lot of detail. I remember spending ages reading up on the beastery and um, like what monsters might be found where and like how they act and just all sorts of stuff. So last thing for the Ultima Collection is this map of Britannia. Now it's not cloth which is a little disappointing it's just cardboard, but it's still a very nice map. It's nice and thick, and it's actually representative of Britannia. Like, if you're in the capital city, you know that if you go east, you'll eventually run into a small town. I really should scan this thing in and put it up on my wall. I think it'll look nice. Now, the last thing I'm going to talk about is my game gear. Um... This was this little machine was very good to me back in the day. Um, I played it all the way up until I think 2002 when I finally got a Game Boy Advance SP, which is another really awesome system. Just by the way, but the Game Boy Advance um, is still being supported on the DS. So if my actual Game Boy Advance was to die, I could still play my GBA games on my DS. Whereas if this thing was to die, I wouldn't be able to play any of my real Game Gear games anymore. 
and I also wouldn't be able to play my Master System games um, as easily uh, because it's a lot easier to pull this thing out than to plug in my Master System, retune it into my TV every time I want to play an old Master System game. And I know about emulation, and, and I do do that, but sometimes you just want to play the real thing. So those are a few of my prized positions in gaming. Um, I hope you enjoyed that little trip through memory lane. Distron out.